Hi, my name is Amin Issa, and I'm a postdoctoral research fellow at the Extreme Environmental and Integrative Physiology Lab here at Mayo Clinic. Um, what I'm going to be talking to you about today is uh, why and how we're going to be assessing cognitive function as we go up in altitude. You may have heard that uh, people have less oxygen as they go up in altitude, and um, that affects significantly their ability to think, move, act, as well as a host of other processes. But uh, what we want to target with our cognitive test is to be able to um, pinpoint where and how their cognitive uh, uh, functions degrade. And the, sp the test we, sp we designed uh, specifically is a, just a very simple test. It looks at the hand-eye coordination and uh, estimates a general skill level for a person's hand-eye coordination and reflexes. Uh, so it's more of a motor function test. And, uh, and from that, we, can, uh, we record in real time and uh, uh, look at several metrics uh, several times a second, so at a very high resolution. And we're able to uh, pinpoint when and how people degrade. The, the reason for such a high resolution is, first of all, to be able to detect trends when we're looking at data post hoc, but more importantly, to be able to uh, identify instantaneously when there are changes in cognitive function. It was originally designed uh, uh, to help uh, 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 Air Force pilots for up on the mountain. We'll be combining it with several other cognitive tests. And uh, we'll look at, uh, in addition to uh, motor function, uh, more executive functions, and more memory recall and, uh, and uh, decision-making functions. And what we'll be able to do is supplement our knowledge as well as validate our, our test. And uh, what we hope to achieve by this is to be able to, to really uh, understand what is happening at altitude and how, how uh, a person's thought process gets impaired it, in a sense, it's almost like being uh, inebriated, uh, drunk. You don't want uh, people climbing a mountain when when they're not able to do basic motor functions, and uh, but that that's what happens. So you can imagine the tremendous amount of focus the people who make it to the top have, if they're not using supplemental oxygen, of course. Even then, it takes focus. Uh, so the other thing we hope to achieve is to be able to paint a better picture of the physiological functions that happen associated with this cognitive degradation. We'll be taking a look at other uh, bodily uh, factors like your heart rate, uh, oxygen saturation, and try and correlate everything together to paint a, a better picture of what's going on uh, physiologically.